The season of two competition heavyweights went on the line as Apia Leichhardt took on Sydney United 58 in the preliminary final. A position in the grand final was up for grabs as Premier's Sydney Olympic awaited the winners in the decider next Sunday. Apia saw their championship dream shattered on grand final day last season and they wanted to make amends. United were last in the grand final in 2016 and they want back on the big stage. 2v3 in the season proper, United won on penalties when the two met a fortnight ago. However, none of that matters now, just the next 90 minutes count on the road to the grand final. Let's go to the Sydney United Sports Centre and check out all the action. Uchino, plenty of feeling between these two sides as well. Of course, we are playing for a spot in the grand final, so spirits will be high, but there is a genuine rivalry between these two. Play it down in back play as well. It's not what United need early. Looks in real trouble. Is uh, Vrilic it is, who's down. Well, there you go, Chris Payne Chris is going to come on. So all the talk was that he wasn't ready to start. But he's come on almost a few minutes, five minutes into this game. So we'll watch this one. But he's certainly slotting to that number nine role. Looks like back in that left back position. Showing his adaptability as always. Here's Trefiro. Nice turn from him. Nice for Sydney United. Tark Mayat goes forward as he clicks. Wants a free kick. Still playing the ball on the deck. Still there for them. Matt's him on the scene. You know, he's danger going forward. Not dealt with. Chance for United. Flashes wide. Now Milgate. Lucino. Nice movement from the Tigers. Is there an end product? Simmons has to hustle. Oh, he takes it first time. Would have been spectacular, but... Sakia got a race on to keep this one in. We'll sit for him. Into the area he goes. Has numbers in the middle. We'll sit up here for Parisi. Chance for Rapia Simmons. Good save from Manus. Follow-up is Gulasano. Tigers keeper. Hardly had to move for that one. Now Tamalo's off and running. Nice work though in cover, but it's a bit fortunate. Does the defender. Rolls into the path of Fondi. Now Sakia. Will it sit for the striker? Sakia tries to chip. Oh, Sakia wasn't too far away. Now Sim. Is he fouled? No, says referee Stephen Lucas. Now you have the numbers. Parisi driving forward. Thought he might pull the trigger. Might sit here for Sakia. Oh, good save from Manis. Just see Arpia warming to the task here. Starting to get players forward out of that midfield. Milgate the target. They go to the far post. Simmons oh, doesn't deal with it. Now they're off and running. Gianni Pacatis, more of an advanced role for him. Defender this year. Sam Perry now has Sim overlapping, trying to pick out a teammate in the middle. Not a bad ball. Sit here for Trefiro. Oh, it's an absolute bullet. What a way to take the lead. Glenn Trefiro makes it 1-0 to United in some style. Yeah, terrific piece of finishing there from Trefiro. The technique from Tricky on the edge of the box. It was a great cross from Sam Perry. We've seen that a couple of times on the left-hand side. It's not been the all-out assault that we might have expected from Arpia. Struggling, struggling to really penetrate wide. Here's a chance for United on the break. They've got some numbers too. Payne rolls it in. Huge chance. Here's Sam Perry. Can he make it two? Oh, Nachewski makes the save. He's misdirected that ball. So many experienced players on both sides, and they're really taking control. United at the moment. Sim and Trefiro have had an excellent start to the second half. Here's Perry. Shannon Cole overlapping. Perry's ball in. It's a good one. Chris Payne inventive with the back heel. Can one of them produce here? I'd love to see Simmons get more involved. Can he get on the end of things here at the set piece? Delivery's good. There's players all over the deck. Guatemala, I think it was, that was down. Still there. Golisano trying it from range. How about that from the youngster? United certainly look to have the better body language at the moment. Very comfortable when they're dropping deep. Players wanting the ball. Confidence of having the lead. Tom Manis picks out Trefiro, acres of space too. 
Pass sits up here. Huge chance for United. Perry. And he blasts it over. Yeah, and the other fascinating record which we talked about during last uh, year's grand final is that only two of the last 11 premiers have gone on to win the championship. So Sydney Olympic were the last to do that in 2011. They did the double that year. and They're looking to be the first team since 2011 to do that. Here's a chance for Arp here. We're not done yet. Huge chance to get a goal back. They've done exactly that. What a strike it is too. Inspiration from the skipper. And it's Sean Simmons, a man I said he's been quiet. Well, he's pulled it from the fire. It's 1-1 one, one all of a sudden. And we have a game on our hands at Sydney United Sports Centre. Yeah, and that's the mental strength we talked about. Parisi tried to skin him and it just came off the defender's hand there. So it is a set piece here. A chance to send up Muatamalo and Milgate. This is a huge moment. Final seconds of the preliminary final. Can Apia conjure something and book their berth in the grand final? They have left it late numerous times this year. Good delivery too. No surprise, that man Milgate, but well and truly over the bar. There you have it. We're off to extra time. We aren't done yet. The roller coaster continues. 90 minutes. It is 1-1. Here's Tarek Meyer. I think it's certainly starting to reflect in. Here's Payne. Room to move. Going to size it up too. Chris Payne on a Chepsky. Wasn't convincing, but... Nice turn from Parisi. So those experienced players that are starting to show their value in this extra time period. Sakia is one of them. Jinking inside the area. Chance for Sakia. Room to shoot too. Here's a chance for Sakia. He seemed to take too long. Rahimi. Defences loosening for both sides. Chances mounting. Rahimi sizing it up on the right boot. Good save, Nachevsky. It was destined for the bottom corner. Here's a chance for Uchino. Thought he might pull the trigger. Parisi trying to work onto the left. Sakia cushions it. Still there. Fondike sizes it up. Fondike. Oh, Mana slapped at it. Roberts is in behind. End to end stuff. Sim inside the area. Needs support in the middle. It's that man again, Moatamalo. He's everywhere. Sim again. Getting about. Good delivery too. Oh, it was inches away. Chris Payne. This is a huge moment in the context of the season. It will be Trefiro. He tries it. Oh, good save, Nachevsky. He has been up to the task tonight. Well, you can cast your mind back to last season. It was penalties in the preliminary final there. We may have a goal here, though. Huge chance. Oh, it's across the face. Rahimi just needed a touch. Does he pull the trigger? No one went to him. Sakia thought he was clipped. Stephen Lucas agrees. And this is danger here. Chance probably for Sean Simmons, maybe Uchino. I think it's Simmons who's going to go up and take it. It will be Sakia. He tries it. Oh, I tell you what, it was curling. As for Arpia, Josh Simmons was among the scorers. He's not playing today. So you'll certainly see at least one different name for both sides. Oh, Sakia opens up at important time. Room to move. Sakia! Oh, over the bar. 20 seconds left. This would be the final chance, you feel. Or is it going to go to United? Important challenge from Uchino. Moata Marlo. Yes, Rabadi went without it. Trefiro. Oh, that's a great ball in behind. Flag stays down too. Now it's up on Chris Payne and well, it doesn't count because Sim tucks it home. Want to get behind the action here. Hope you're enjoying the action on the NPL New South Wales Facebook page and YouTube. Sean Simmons first up for Apia. He tucks it away. Good penalty. Chris Payne against Ivan Nachevsky to level it in the shootout. Nachevsky goes the right way, but Payne had too much on it. Here is Moatamalo. He does exactly that. Sends Manus the wrong way. Such composure from the defender. Showing the variety too. Two top corners in the right. This time he went left. Bottom corner. Kept his calm and composure. Sent Manos the wrong way. 
again. Now it's Glenn Trefiro scored at Lambert Park against Arpia. Scored an absolute stunner tonight. How quickly fortunes can change in football, though. Has Denied to do by Nachevsky twice in extra time. Here is Trefiro from the spot for United. Well, never in doubt. Here is Giacchino from the spot for Arpia. He tucks it away. Puts those demons to bed. Huge pressure, though, on Shannon Cole's shoulders. Here is Cole from the spot. Save from Nachevsky. First miss of the night. And it's Milgate who steps up. Hasn't had the best of nights in terms of his delivery with this right foot. From the spot, here is Nathan Milgate. He can indeed. Great penalty. Great penalty. Kept his composure low into that same corner that Uchino went. Roberts needs to do the job to keep them in it. Nachevsky, can he save up here again? Here's Roberts, tucks it home. Credit to the defender, good penalty. Brilliant penalty, and look who's stepping up. Each. It is the spiritual leader for Arpia. Can he send them into the grand final? Here is Franco here. Parisi. He was the fairy tale on that magical FFA Cup night. It'll be equally as magical if they can book a place in the grand final. Franco Parisi for Arpia to send them to the decider. Here is Parisi. He does it. Arpia go back to the grand final. We have a showdown next Sunday at Leichhardt Oval. So Apia hold their nerve from the spot to book their place in Sunday's decider. Commiserations must go to Sydney United 58, who battled hard despite setbacks through both injury and suspension. The result sets the stage for a grand final epic. First versus second will meet at Leichhardt Oval, a championship decider to savour.